Hi, it's Robert here again, and nothing says Thanksgiving better than the cornucopia. This traditional little baby is great for Thanksgiving, harvest parties, any kind of fall gathering, but it's particularly associated with Thanksgiving because of the Horn of Plenty and being full of abundant foods and vegetables. Today I found this beautiful, beautiful bouquet full of bronzes and yellows and gold colors and this is going to be perfect for our cornucopia. As always, we're going to start with removing our flowers. Take off the protective sleeve. I'm going to discard that one. And of course, like I always tell you, put this in your little special stash box because you never know when you're going to need something like that. We always reuse those. The cornucopia is a foam arrangement. So I properly soaked my foam, like I always tell you, the little hole side up, let it sink all the way down in the sink, and then it's ready and nice and soaked all the way through. Most cornucopias come with a little plastic liner or a plastic dish. If not, you could form your own with either tin foil or with saran wrap, something that'll just keep the water from leaking out onto your table. So I'm going to push this all the way in and using my half a block of foam, I'm going to slide that right into the cornucopia like so. Now let's separate our flowers. Okay, now that we've separated our flowers by varieties, I'm ready to start. As you can see, I've got some beautiful bronze rover mums. I've got some cushion mums, um, some cushion daisies, a little astromeria. I've got a lily. All varieties of nice fall flowers. I've got some wonderful photinia, which is a very nice reddish, reddish green kind of a flower. What I'm going to do with the photinia is I'm going to cut this into a few different sizes. The first one I'm going to cut will be my longest one. Like about that. And what I'm going to do is place it so that it comes just about to the edge of the cornucopia, like that. Now, if we cut all our other leaves by twos, one, two, and cut right above the next one, that. And I'm going to do the same thing with the others. You could also do this by just, if you want more color, just going outside and cutting a few nice autumn color leaves too. Now what I'm going to do is basically fill this in around the bottom. I'm creating a shape here. This is a little longer. See, I, I just want it to overflow over the edge of the cornucopia. Now, let's take our large focal flower. You could use a rover mum, you could use a spider mum, a dispud, all kinds of other flowers, but use your large focal flower. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this about the same length that I did with this one. I want it to come right to the edge of the cornucopia. Remember when you're cutting, you have to leave that little extra half inch that's going to go into the foam. Just like that. Now I'm going to cut my other two a little bit shorter. This one I'm going to place in this side and then this one I'm going to put up towards the top. Now what we're going to do is like we've done in so many of our others, is we're going to break all our mums apart. You could either pull them apart or re-snip them. And don't forget, use these little buds too. These little buds add interest when we're putting this arrangement together. Because now we're basically going to just overflow this with mums. Now that we've finished cutting all our mums up, and if you notice, I took the liberty to already cut 
the little bronze ones too. I left the, the bronze ones have shorter laterals. So they're going to be used more closer to the foam because we want to cover up the foam so that you don't see your mechanics. So now what we're going to do is if you notice we've created a line here. There's a definite line that goes around this way and there's one that goes from here to here. What we want to do is fill in all around. So I'm going to begin with the yellows because they have the longer laterals. The stem is a lateral, for those of you who didn't know that. And I'm going to place these so that they go all the way around. And you may have to cut some of them shorter. And I'm also going to create a line up the top here. Because remember, I'm going to want some to come back behind here because you're going to see the back of the cornucopia. So let's keep filling in. And this requires you to, keep, like I said before, to keep turning it around, making sure that you're keeping that line. And if you have a nice long one, then you could put it in right here. See these little buds? The longer ones look really great, kind of popping out like that. Now, once you've filled in, with all your large mums, I'm going to reserve the little, la the little buds for later on. We're going to use these to really give this some interest later. Now what we're going to do, because you could see how much of our foam you could still see in between when you look down, what I'm going to do is take my short lateral little daisies, which almost look like a little mini rover mum, and I'm going to push them in deep and really cover my foam up. by just continuing to cut them real short. And if you see around this side, you see how I've put it right up against the side of the cornucopia? That'll cover my foam and cover the edge of the cornucopia too. Now that we filled it all in, you could pretty much tell that most of our foam is covered, but we're not done yet. We still have all of our little buds and some more of our pretty lilies and Alstroemeria lilies. Now, let's take our buds, and I just want to break our shape. You may have to cut them down a little bit, but look at how much more added dimension we're going to be giving this. So instead of being a tight little ball of flowers, it's going to make it more open and loose looking. Now that I've, now that I've put in all my buds, let's take my lily. I'm going to remove some of this extra foliage here. And you see this one extra bud right here? If you've got a couple of extra buds that have a fairly decent size lateral, cut that off and use it. Because we could cut them up and use them around the arrangement. And this one will open up because it's starting to show color. I'm going to take this lily and place it right in at the top above my mum. And I'm going to take the buds, remembering that it's going to open, and place them on this side like this. Now we still have two pieces of Astromeria lily. These are very closed, but they'll open up beautifully and they're a rich purple color. So I'm going to cut them about like that. And I'm going to put them in right about there. Now one thing to remember about Astromeria is it's one of the flowers that continues to grow. So bury it a little deeper into your arrangement because it's going to stick out. Now I've got three pieces of lily grass which again I'm going to use to break my shape. I'm going to have two of them coming out the top like that and I'll cut the other one a little shorter and have it coming out the bottom. Again we've created another line. Lines are very important in floral design. 
Now, we could be done, but it's never finished till it's overdone. So we're going to put some other things that a Horn of Plenty needs. I went to the local grocery store and I got some beautiful brown pears and some red apples. Now this could be done with any kind of fruit or vegetable that you want. It's just we're going to add these in to really make it interesting and your guests are really going to go crazy when they see it. All you need is a wooden dowel and we're going to cut them short like this. I can cut one dowel into four pieces and I'm just going to insert them into the bottom of my pear like that and we're going to place this right in where we see a hole. Cut them on an angle so it makes it easier for them to go in. See, you slide your apple in like that. And I might just put one more up at the top, like that. Now you can add wheat, you can add leaves from outside, anything you want to give it an abundant look. The fruit is wonderful, and now you've got your own homemade cornucopia. Just hope nobody eats the centerpiece. As always, happy arranging.